In this tutorial, we'll take another look at the rigid body joints within the Blender game engine. And it's pretty cool. They, um, if you compare this to, say, Blender Render, you can do kind of a similar effect with hair particles. In fact, so let's just take a look at this animation. This little broom sweeps along, you know, sweeps the balls out of the way. Maybe you've seen the animation. I had it, I've had it posted for a while, right? And the effects are nice. And what's nice about it in the game engine is that the the broom strands interact with the objects in the scene. All right, so we can achieve this same type of effect within Blender Render using hair particles, and we'll do that here in a couple of lessons from now. But within there, you can't use the hair particles to interact in the same way because in here we're interacting with rigid bodies for the physics effects, and it's nice. So to make the effect work, you can we'll look at this thing up close. There it is. It's just it's just a bunch of interconnected joints, and so of course that means for the game engine, they're rigid body joints. So let's look up close at one of these. If let's see, we'll get right in there, and then you can start seeing. Sure enough, right there is a joint for that particular object right there. So if we go over to the rigid body joints here, there's the constraint and there's a rigid body joint and in this case instead of being a hinge like I showed you in the previous lesson it's set to a ball joint so it can float around in all directions and the target is set in this so this the, you see the display pivot is moved away here's the center of this object and the display pivot I have displaced up here at the top of the object All right, so it swings around this point up here and then the uh, target is cube 2414 should be this one right here and that is labeled cube 214 so what it is it's it's following this the action of this and then if we just keep going up the chain this one's target is 213 which is that and this one's target is 212 which is that and that's target is the broom handle alright so the broom handle is set up here like this alright so basically they're just tied together but to make the to make it work to, if you want to build something similar uh, to keep to make it simple it, uh, what you want to do is you want to set up your physics or your constraints on the objects beforehand like maybe you set it up on one strand like this so they're all in place and then you go in and copy all of those all the way around the circle because if you go build your entire scene and then copy it and then go back and set your physics effects then you have to go do it and set it per object and that takes a long time I've seen a video that on the future version of bullet physics within Blender Render they'll have a feature where you can just copy all the physics effects across to a bunch of different objects at the same time which would be a really helpful feature but it, in the interim just you know like for instance even on these balls these balls are set over here in the physics tab like here you can see they're all rigid bodies and the same way I just made one rigid body made sure I set up the parameters how I wanted it in the first place and then I copied individual copies all the way around instead of just putting a bunch of spheres in there and then going back and setting, and setting them individually and then and so then you get nice effects and I I like it in here like I said because they interact within the game engine I mean it's a nice effect they you know a broom bounces these things around and this kind of lighting di this dynamic lighting where you have you know dramatic it kind of gives it a dramatic effect I like this kind of lighting as well and I haven't ever figured out a way to make hair particles within blender render interact with objects but uh, well I mean except for basic collision but the strands themselves I haven't been able to do it but I'll be doing a lesson or two or more on hair dynamics here very soon because they're fun and powerful as well they're basically this kind of movement that you see with the broom but to set it up in blender render is just a snap it just you know a couple of couple of clicks here and there and you're running it all right in fact maybe I'll do that in the next lesson okay well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson